What is going on guys? It is Trifecta J here with episode 3 of my Tennessee Tech Dynasty on NCAA Basketball 10. And we're starting off with a game against South Louisiana State. Simulating through this one. And we would go on to win 165 with Torrance Rowe putting up 27 points. So a very nice day from him. And now we're taking on the Harvard Crimson in our first game that I'm actually playing of this episode. And they are one of the best mid-major teams in all of the country. Just a very solid program under Tommy Amaker. Just a lot of talent. Wesley Saunders, Siani Chambers. And this will be a very interesting matchup because they are sort of what I want to build this team into. There will be a couple of teams like that we will take on this year. Another is Georgia State have had. They had a very nice tournament run, at least winning one game, which is pretty good for a 14 seed. However, we are now underway. It is 0-0. Zero zero. Ball is into Matt Bruce's hands going down low. And that shot is made by... Mandu Misi swinging the ball around. Torrance Rowe with it. Passes it to Charles Jackson into the corner for Javon McKay. That three is down and good. One point lead for the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles. Harvard up top swinging the ball around. Getting it down low. Matt Bruce with the ball. Great move to get inside of the lane on Dewan Caldwell and puts it up and in. Ball now moving down low. That's Mandu Misi again. Misses it but gets his rebound and he puts it back up and in. Three point lead for the Harvard Crimson. Trying to get inside. That's Matt Bruce, and that's his fourth point of the day. A very nice score from him, pushing it on the break. But now Wesley Saunders has the ball with Tremaine Thomas on the defense, but Jonah Travis goes up and dunks that ball down. A very nice play from him. It is now a nine-point lead early on, and that is caught by Zena, and he slams that one down. Wesley Saunders, he misses it, but he gets his own rebound and puts it back up and in. A very nice play from him. Jared Johnson of the game at point guard. Swing the ball around into the corner. That's Anthony Morse. He knocks down the jumper. As we are now down by 11 points. We've got to make a run to try and get back in this game before halftime gets here. Download that Zena again. And he knocks down his jumper. 13 point lead once more. Anthony Morse swing the ball around to Jared Johnson. That's a three. And it's no good. But Morse on the putback. Showing off his ability in a tip drill of sorts. Gets it to go. Jared Johnson on the break. Pass. And what a play. As that is a very nice play from DeAndre Haynes and Jared Johnson. Trying to get it down low to Charles Jackson. Into the corner. That's a two. But it is good from Jared Johnson. It is now a nine point lead for the Crimson. Great block right there. But Bruce comes up with a rebound. And another rebound. That time by Mondu Misi. Gets it to go. Last shot is no good. Going into halftime. 22 to 11. Tennessee Tech. Off to another very slow start. All of our games have been slow starts. You can see six turnovers. That's something we've got to do. If we're going to shoot an effective percentage, you have to capitalize on every possession you have. As we're, right now, we're shooting 33% from the field. Very poor so far. Hopefully, we can turn that around in the second half. Dewan Caldwell the ball into the corner. Great fake right there from Torrance Rowe, who slams it down and gets it to go. A very nice play from him. Trying to get it down low. That's a shot and it is up and in by Mondu Misi playing very well early on. And that is just a great play. So Jackson with the ball passing it back outside. That's Torrance Rowe for three. It's good. It is now down to ten. Harvard inside gets another offensive rebound. We have got to do a better job on the defensive glass as that one is put back up and in. Torrance Rowe with the ball. McKay gets the pass, passes it to Shermaine Thomas. Not the best three-point shooter, but able to knock that pass down as the lead is at 12 right now. Jonah Travis with the ball at the top of the key. Down low to Matt Bruce. He shoots the short jumper and gets it to go. The lead is now 14. have got to make a run with four and a half minutes left. Harvard has the ball, though. Trying to get inside. That's Miller, and he knocks it down. A very nice shot. Pushing it on the break for the Golden Eagles, however, Torrance Rowe with the ball. Trying to get it in the corner. He finds his man. That's Jermaine Thomas. He knocks down the three. The lead is now 13. We, Like I said, we've got to make a run if we want any shot in this game. Three minutes left. Inside, Jermaine Thomas coming up big once more. A very nice bucket. Torrance Rowe swinging the ball around. Trying to get it in the corner. Has a man. That's Caldwell. Dewan Caldwell for three. It is now down to 10. We have got to hurry up. Still 10 with 138 left inside and that is a big bucket from the crimson pushing it on trying to get it up the floor as fast as we can Torrance row that's caldwell that's a long three but it is good very nice shot from our power forward Torrance row the ball into the corner Shermaine thomas again that's his second time making that shot not a great three-point shooter 
but he's made a couple of clutch free three pointers. Tremaine Thomas again, he knocks it down. 12 seconds though, six point lead. This game might be over, and it is a very tough loss. Got down big early and just cannot cut into that deficit. Dwan Caldwell is your player of the game, along with Mondo Misi with 10 points and five rebounds. Tremaine Thomas leads the team with 13 points. A very nice day from our shooting guard. A couple of blocks once more from Charles Jackson Dunn. A very nice job with that. You can see we were out rebounded by five. That's something that we have definitely got to fix. Ten turnovers on the day, 38% from the field. Those numbers are not good if we want to win. But now we are simulating another game to get to our the game after this. And right now we are up pretty big. This game is almost over. Making a little bit of run is Lipscomb. And that game is over. We win by three points. A very close game. And now we're taking on the LSU Tigers in Baton Rouge. Which should be a very interesting game. They, they're another team similar to Utah that outclasses us in almost every aspect. We will just have to outperform them as LSU comes in today's game at 4-0. Should be a very interesting game. But in our game that I simulated, it was a very nice game. 20 rebounds for Charles Jackson in that game. That is just crazy numbers, but a very nice day from him. Now we're getting a look at the starting lineups. Jordan Mickey and Drell Martin are the M brothers. Not brothers in law, actually, but you know what I mean. For LSU, however, LSU has the ball. Great block right there from Caldwell, but that is Jarrell Martin getting the rebound and gets that shot up and in. Torrance Rowe trying to get it down low. Shermaine Thomas going with a little bit of a right-handed hook, and that one drops. 4-2, to two, pushing it on the break. Torrance Rowe into the corner. Using that very effectively, that's Javon McKay. He gets the tough layup to fall. It is now 4-4, four four, six and a half minutes left. Javon McKay, actually that's DeAndre Haynes on the break this time. He gets his shot to fall as we have our first lead of the day. So that is a very nice drive from Tim Quarterman. Now we have about six, six and a quarter minutes left. So Anthony Morris, however, down low, knocks down his jumper, a very short jumper. Pretty much all of our big men, we only really have three on the roster, but two of them have some nice range to their games. But a very nice shot from, like I said before, our best shooter, Jared Johnson. You cannot leave him open. Down low, that's Jarrell Martin. He shoots a very short jumper and gets it to go. That's Jalen Patterson on the break. Down low, Quarterman. Going with a reverse layup. Great finish as the lead is now down to one. Jared Johnson trying to get in the quarter. That's Josiah Moore. He shoots and scores as the lead is now up to four. Two and a half minutes left in the first half. Looking for a little bit of substitutions, but a great pass down low to Jalen Patterson as he finishes the pass. Jermaine Thomas passed to Torrance Rowe. Looking for a screen into the corner. That's Josiah Moore again. He knocks down his jumper. That's five points for him on the day so far. Jared Johnson swinging the ball around. That's Martin Keith Hornsberg. He shoots, and that is a deep three. Just pulls up as LSU has their lead, first lead in a little bit of time. Jalen Patterson down low, knocks down his short jumper. That's Hornsby again. No good, but LSU ends the half on 11-2 run as they will enter halftime with a five point lead. A nice job by them to end the half on a high note to give themselves, like I said, a five point lead. Being outshot by 20%, only shooting 70% from three, not playing very well. Are we only down by five? A couple of runs away from being right in this game and maybe even pulling off an upset. Torrance Row to start off the half though, that's our first bucket. However, we are once again down by five. DeAndre Haynes with the ball, passing it around into the corner. That's Johnson. He shoots and scores. That's his third three of the day. Jared Johnson once more trying to get to down low to Caldwell. He passes. That's Rowe. He shoots from the free throw line and knocks down that shot. It is now tied. And we are now up by one. Have regained the lead. Into the post for Mickey. Fadeaway jumper is good. Not known for his offensive game, but a very efficient shot right there from him. Swing the ball around. Into the corner for Patterson. Down low for Quarterman. He knocks down from the block and gets it to go. Josiah Moore gets the man in the air. Swing the ball around into the corner. That's Torrance Rowe again. And he knocks down the shot. As right now we are experimenting with sort of a four guard lineup with Josiah Moore at what I guess would be considered the four. Right, But we have switched back. But we did run that for a little. It was pretty effective. So we'll have to see if we continue to do that later on in the year. And just throughout the year, Jared Johnson, though, once more, he's starting to catch fire, knocks down another three-point shot. Josiah Moore trying to get it down low. And that is a nice shot from Jordan Mickey. Into the corner for Shermaine Thomas, looking from a screen for Caldwell. 
He's into the lane, passes it back out, and a great pick and pop from Caldwell and Thomas. Into the post, Anthony Morse on the defense, looking to get inside, and what a move by Brian Bridgewater, getting some rare minutes for this LSU squad. Swinging the ball around, that's Jermaine Thomas, and that is a contested three. He gets it to go. We have a three-point lead, under 20 to go. Torrance Rowe with the ball. He, they will foul him, and he has a chance to go to make it a two-possession game. It is a one-and-one, and, one and he misses his free throw. So LSU has the ball. That is no good from Jarrell Martin. Not the shot you want him taking as we go to the line once more. Chance to make it a two-possession game. Fail to do it again. Five seconds left. Pass up. Swing the ball around. Jordan Mickey. Shot up. Not good. And that should do it. That is not the shot you want at the buzzer. But they were forced to take it. Caldwell on the rebound. As we will pull off the upset in Baton Rouge against the LSU Tigers. A huge win. In this game, we had seven blocks and made seven three-pointers. Both of those were a huge difference maker. A great game overall. Played really well in the second half. Experimented with some press to get some easy buckets. But I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. Leave your comments down below. I will see you next time. Cause I'm out.